I've always been interested in speculative fiction. The earlier work that I was doing was based on that premise that I was taking these specific references and trying to reconstruct them or rebuild them in different ways. Part of the reason why I work in paper sculpture is also because there's this playful dimension to it and this small miniature world that can hopefully spark people's imaginations as well. The city itself is Downey, California, which is in southeast Los Angeles County. It's an area that used to be known as the LA County Farm, sometimes known as the Poor Farm, because it was an agricultural site that also had medical rehabilitative purposes. As the medical facility itself modernized and they shrank down and sold off some of the land, I was really struck by the arrangement of institutions and the history of space. It was the first time in my life that I really understood space can really shape our emotional experience, our sort of sense of societal dynamics. There are always these sort of hidden histories and it sometimes takes that kind of striking mashing together of sites to really step back and say why are things put together the way that they are. Because of that really jarring juxtaposition, I felt like I needed to know how it came about and why it was there. I try to find certain objects or buildings or signs and things that have some sort of particular resonance and then I'll recreate those through these sculptures. I love seeing these small miniature architectural models and projections that people build when they're proposing a new site. And so there is something that also ties into the sort of speculative fiction interest too. Like there's always this projection of possibility that, that's encapsulated in these miniatures. The paper sculptures in some ways become these almost sculptural ghosts that appear to be these solid objects, these sawhorses and construction materials and architectural pieces that appear to be these small miniature buildings, but then if someone were to really push on them, it would fall apart. Ghosts have that resonance in culture because they call into question the rest of our reality, that if this is not what it appears to be, then what else is questionable and what, what else do we need to look at and think harder about?